Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Istanbul. Welcome back to the Green Park Hotel and Resort here. And we are going to move on with East versus West 8. And we go to one of our feature signature matches of the evening. It is in the men's lightweight division. 75 kilograms, 165 pounds. And it is for the East versus West Championship of the World on the men's left arm. Let's introduce you now to our arm wrestlers. The first of these hails from and he's representing Armenia. Raise it up for Emil Admisadja. Emil, Emil Amirjashan from Armenia. He is right here on East versus West stage to prove that he is deserving for the title of 75 kilo left hand East versus West world champion. He is facing a very top opponent. Emil is one of the last guys that has a victory over Daniel Prokopchuk. Today, he said he can do it again easy. And his opponent hails from and is representing Moldova. This man is a multiple Moldovan national champion he is a multiple EAF European champion and is also a multiple WAF champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Daniel Procopto. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the young Moldovian superstar. We've seen him at East versus West 7 and absolutely dominant and guess what he's even better left-handed and can i say what a pleasure it is to see those pads switched around and the left-handed love being given to from east versus west to the left-handed community let's welcome this world title match I have not seen you this excited today, so I'm very happy. We will have one more left arm match, but that's later. Right now is the title match versus Emil and Daniel. Both have been pulling for years, know each other very, very well. Emil wants to top roll, Daniel wants to hook. Last time, and this is the last man to beat Daniel in left arm, is Emil Amedishan. So today, he has all the chances to taking the reigning world champion title. And you think about all the matchups tonight. If you combine the careers of these two athletes, maybe the most talented matchup here in the entire card. And listen, it's only one of two of the world championship matches. So listen, don't be surprised if this is by far the match of the night. I have been watching Daniel Poole for quite some time. His strategy with left is very easy. He wants to get the he wants to get the ref grip. He wants to get the strap. In this setting, it's easier to get the strap. Emil will try to deny him the strap, of course, controlling. But it's very hard to control Daniel's hand, as he is very very powerful, not only in arm but also in the hand. I'm very excited to see where this match will end up. Will it be on Emil's side or Daniel's side? And we're going to find out very, very soon. But I'm expecting a slot. I'm not saying it's cheating. But if you tell me a guy wants to set grip and wants the straps, does all he can to get that, I don't trust that guy. Aren't you that guy? That's right. This is why you wouldn't trust him. As we see, full side pressure, just trying to get that slip. Daniel gets that slip, and he will be on a good side of the buckle. And wow, what dominance right there out of the strap. Listen, this whole every match is in the strap. This is a new phenomenon in the sport of arm wrestling from the hundred years that we've been doing this. Here the last five years, every single match. Listen, years ago, Daniel would still be holding on trying to gain some sort of hand and wrist position. The strap at one time was the last 
measure possible. The match would be 15 minutes before they finally brought out that strap. Now, here's where the truth lies. The uh, professional arm wrestler must have his strap come game on, on. absolutely the yeah. highest of regard in his come. training. I know personally no, 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 no. Daniel no, no. only was going to be successful in these straps, but my goodness, Emil's ability to absolute dominate out of it makes me think more than ever this is going to be the match of the night i hope so i was i was walking past daniel and i asked him like could you could you make this a good one could you make this a war he said i'm always having wars because he always puts himself in positions because he is so powerful and today we will see if it will work out for him we see again classic matchup versus top roll and a hook. Daniel coming forward with the shoulder, leaning in. We can't see, but if we see the lower view, we will see he's setting up his leg. If you can see the side there, the leg is in a, in a table, pressing to the side, just coming forward to get a stop. Emil, on the other hand, getting down as low as he can, just so he can explode with the back pressure. And the non-verbal from Emil is that he looks absolutely dominant right now. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my It, it goodness. doesn't make sense. That was so, oh God, that was so dominant. That was, I, I, I'm in a belief. 75, my category. I do not know what I he believe. said, he's but if... He's 75, my category. What is that? What he's does that mean? 75, my category. Oh, it in his English. category. He said it in English even worse. But my man, you do not tell lies. I apologize about having any doubt in your integrity. Absolute stud. As dominant as Emil looked out of the strap, Daniel looks equally and even more just impressive in the It looked like he hit strap. a wall. He was like hitting a wall and just blowing up. That's how I felt. That's how I looked at this match. Right now, it's a Mills. What he will do, can he not get into the hook? Because he hit to the side and he was sucked into a hook. Stopped by the side pressure and back pressure of Daniel Prokopchuk. Let's see Emil if he needs the, the WAF rules and regulations along with the referee in Thank order you. to make Daniel arm wrestle out of the strap somehow. I believe at this stage with this arm wrestling organization, the East versus West being really hard to keep your opponent out of the strap. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not a betting man. However, every dollar that I have in my left pocket right now, and I usually am loaded, would go towards. Oh no! I forgot I got paid. Yeah, you got paid. You got paid. You got paid. I've got a lot of money. Sorry you saw that, Coach Ray. I know that must be daunting to see the difference in talent level when it comes to payment here at East versus West. But my goodness. Daniel looks absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. I didn't know we were getting paid, but okay. Oh. Eh. I'll, I'll have to renegotiate my contract with, with East versus West. <laughs> and you should, because I can say that Neil and I were talking when you left. So right now, a referee's grip. I would, I would think it's again a be a slip. Go. Yeah. <clears throat> this this will work. This would work the also in WF. This would be. That was good. That was much more aggressive for Daniel to go towards his pin pad as he loses the hand and slips out. That one earlier where Emil in complete control, maybe at 11 o'clock. That's the one that you could see the hand domination. That one not as bad. And from what I've seen the last time that they were strapped up. Okay. Not a good place for Emil to be. Ah, okay, definitely. Yeah. This time, even even worse position, I think. Daniel really likes the strap. He doesn't mind the strap. He doesn't mind the buckle. He will get that position. I think in his style and his strengths, the new changes on the pad where they are, you know, 
longer and, and closer together, they help for it, right? So he can get his wrist closer to his opponent's wrist, and no, it's no, very hard no, to no, escape him. You need to be absolutely 100% committed to top rolling your opponent, getting out of that wrist. That's what Emil needs to do. He needs to post, he needs to block the pinky, finger of Daniel Prokopchuk and he needs to rotate out with everything he has. If Emil has brought any of his friends or family with him from Armenia, it would help if they would come grab a hold of Daniel's hand as well and or if they had anything, tranquilizer gun, stun gun, something. But your brother Emil is in desperate need strapped to this Moldovian. And when I say an absolute surgeon in the strap, I mean absolute literally. surgeon. Right. This guy makes his living by... <laughs> by operating on people. So he needs his hands. And he's an absolute ball. Okay. You first. Referee's grip. Don't move. Hey. Center. 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 This level. Look. It's this. Don't touch. Emil is gaining good position in the strap. Did you see that? This is very much needed. We know that there's a manipulation needed in this connection for Emil to have any success. I do see a lot of his hand inside of the strap and definitely Daniel playing with that strap has shown us he's not 100% comfortable. Okay. He wants like this. Yeah. It should be a better position yeah. for Emil. Okay. Let's see if he can get out this of the hand. Because even Don't though the move. arm hey. of Daniel hey. 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 is his main Don't weapon, move. when he yeah. gets his... It's so immovable, we just saw Don't it. Move it. But the hand is also very, very yeah. strong Don't and move. very hard to Don't top move. Shoulder. Don't move. Shoulder. He's indicated to yes. the referee he does not want to cover his thumb, so watch the low grip. Almost a dad's move Don't coming move. here from Daniel. Wrist, 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 wrist. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that was a weird one. I'll, okay, stop, I'll just tell yeah, you. The truth is, is that the young man from Moldova is at a different level than the competition thus far here at East vs. West. This guy is possibly going to be from a lightweight division a guy that can actually bridge the gap in that class above him and maybe at left-handed forget about the 75 class no i think this guy could dominate maybe two classes up uh i would love to see that i think he's all in my opinion there's a conversation of like pound for pound best right okay i don't think oleg jock has been oleg jock ever since the accident in my opinion, it's either Alijan Murato or Daniel Prokopchuk in this conversation. Pound for pound best on the left arm. And I would love to see him, if he dominates this match like I think he will, would love to see him pull out of his weight yeah. class. And that would be a great match to pull him against some beast, left arm beast, right? No doubt. I mean, a tough guy, a tough competitor when you come in weighing you know, 10, 15 kilos heavier than Daniel. But from a spectator standpoint, listen, that's yeah. exactly what we're looking for. Someone that makes him yes. arm wrestle at right now, man, he's just closing yeah. his hand. You have no choice but to at some point put some sort of side pressure and it seems like it is an absolute wall. Referee's grip. No, straight, straight. Hey, hey, don't move. It's okay. You, you, don't you, move. Here, yeah. but you say it's okay. This has been I the longest okay. setup I ask in you any it's match. Okay. You say okay. And let's give Emil the credit there, right? He's fighting. He's That's what you do. Absolutely fighting. Yeah. Yeah. If you oh. get put up there and you feel that, you okay, must okay, make you know. a switch. You <laughs> must change the connection. Somehow turn this into <laughs> you having this perfect timing in order to manipulate the hand and wrist in some manner. Because from the look here, as soon as that man is, has any sort of control, it's, it's okay. over. And then to slowly pull through Emil once he gets connected is so impressive. Emil is looking very committed to what he wants to do. Even now he has a good position. He's low handing. He tries to fill okay. the gap, you first. but Daniel looks like a wall. Yes. Let's see stop, if Emil move. can change this and hit that hand open. Wrist. Stop, 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 stop. Wrist. 
coincidence or foul? No foul. Okay? Yes, yes. Don't go on this. Don't go on this. More. Okay? <laughs> that was Come on, guys. Daniel Prokopchuk okay. showing Only this. that he wants to pull. Okay. Okay, referee's grip. And you can see Emil has got the distance between those thumb knuckles. Right there at that webbing, he has convinced that referee that them being not super close together is a good thing. Daniel reaching to get a little more control. So Emil pulling out all the stops here. Super impressed with the young man not giving up after that round one and really running into that wall. Round number two. Now it's okay. Don't move. Oh. Hits the top roll, gets inside, Stop. tries to oh. Oh. One elbow foul. One elbow foul for him now. Switched it up from top roll to a deep hook, but in the hook it, it's nothing. Daniel Prokopchuk is definitely on a different level, showing us once again right here on East versus West stage that this guy is probably the absolute elite at 75 kilo class. Take a look, ladies and gentlemen, there. Rocking that black white beater there is an absolute surgeon at the table and at work. And clearly, from my vantage point, the best arm wrestler in the building. And this is the best place. And look at the lat drag, the power. And Emil is in a great position there. That is absolute power. The man from Moldova is quite possibly the best arm wrestler in the world, pound for pound, on the left-hand side. It, was he growling? Was that growling? Because I, I love, Daniel always takes oh, that look okay. at the crowd. He's very confident in his abilities. He knows who he is. And he's slowly building his legend as one of the best pullers on the planet, one of the pullers everyone wants to see. And when you are this great, people also want to see you lose. But I want to see him challenge. That's what I want to see. I want to see him in the deep end. No doubt, and shows what an outstanding human being he is, because most of the time, as soon as someone demonstrates this huge level, the level of jealousy that freaks in to all of his peers is usually quite evident. But with Daniel, such an outstanding human being, you have such respect for the intelligence. And then, this when you think that he's going up against someone that is equal, you find out there are no equals. equals at this guy. And right. usually he doesn't look Man. so young, Six, so five, intelligent. Eight, He's usually more yeah. rough from the European side, right? With that cauliflower ear. And you can see it. This is a <laughs> bad dude. With Daniel, not so much. Just absolutely killing it yeah. at the world level. Oh, the surgeon is... The surgeon is working brutally in this one, right? It's just an absolute domination. Like, you can't escape his hand, you can't escape his arm. Uh, in that round, I believe referees gave Emil every opportunity to make this a more contested match. Daniel just showed an absolute domination. We're gonna go right now in round three. Uh, I think they still will try to not go to the strap straight away and maybe a slip, but... Uh, I don't know. What do you think? What is the best Excuse option me. for Emil to do? What can he do? There is nothing in this whole world that he can do that he did not just do in round two. When you say the referee, I say Emil had that whole setup. His hand lowered, the strap being on his side 100% took advantage of everything you would do if you were intelligent and had an approach on trying to change the connection, take the hand of an arm wrestler who is clearly arm to arm stronger than you. Emil is a huge, top level, absolute, great, tremendous arm wrestler that is absolutely in big trouble with quite possibly the best arm wrestler in the building. I'm just looking at these stats and in some weird, yeah, everything, everything, Daniel loses in almost all the stats and he's another example that arm wrestlers come in all shapes and sizes and there is no clear advantages or disadvantages, it's just how you use them. And he is showing that it doesn't matter that his opponent has longer forearm, it doesn't matter that he's tall, he is an absolute beast on the table.
Yeah, and take a lesson. Oh. If you're in a competitive you. arm wrestler, oh, you are lucky oh, enough to get invited to an event hey. this big, oh, and you face hey. someone that is Trolling. absolute Trolling. unbeatable. Trolling. The approach hey. from Emil, still Trolling. having Daniel slightly uncomfortable, yeah. blaming the ref for hey. this or that. It just shows you that Trolling. Emil not only is a talented arm wrestler, but this is the approach, because it's a he, nightmare he hasn't when given you're up, up there. He hasn't given up. He's still there fighting. He's still there trying. Uh, if he could hold on Daniel without letting him to slip, I think there's a chance there, right? Also, he could work on his hand more and Whoa, other things. Okay, there's a warning start for Daniel Prokopchuk. <laughs> always in a good mood. Always in a good mood. Always oh, smiling. Man. He is here ready to ramble. This is inaugural title of 75 left hand tile match or the championship of east versus west and here's a lesson for people in this same position up to oh give us what we want daniel now trying to gain control with the meal outside of the strap that was an attempt to wrist curl and hook not to flop wrist and try to get out of that match. Listen, Daniel's going to try to do what not many people can do. Control Emil out of the strap in a left-handed title match. Go. Ooh. That no, was no, also very, very close. Elbow foul for no, Emil. Elbow foul for Emil. Uh, Daniel thinks strap. he no, got a foul. <laughs> <laughs> just shows Daniel you. Just Daniel strap, would rather strap, not strap, have the foul just strap, if he can just, get to the strap. Yeah. And there's something, too. Emil figured out. This is what this match looks like, incredibly enough. Outside of the strap, if Emil thinks for a second that Daniel will attempt to control wrist curl and hold on, that he can take him right to the pad. And it looks like he can. He can. So I'm pretty sure can. now, the all jokes aside, Daniel tried his best. He will be going back underneath him super aggressive sideways and slipping underneath i'm just thinking it would be interesting concept like you could you could say how about i trade my foul for a strap Go. oh emil holds on Look. just tries oh. this this is also good because he's bleeding he's bleeding that hand that hand is fully bent back that that looks so wrong controlling elbow Emil needs to take care. He has already whoa, one whoa, whoa. foul. One foul. We go down in the center. I think that's a win. I think that's a win for Daniel. That's a win for Daniel. It went down on his side. <laughs> but, oh, he took that wrist to work. He took... That wrist was bent more than 90 degrees. That wrist okay, was... Okay, okay. Excellent job for Emil. Okay, yeah, recognize... Did they go to the strap? Strap. Strap match. Yeah. Okay, well. If he can capitalize on this, the arm, the hand is getting pumped of Daniel. It was just fully went back to the elastic limits. Let's see if he can do something with that. If not for the smirk and smile from Daniel, I would question exactly how much wear and tear that match actually took on him. But I feel that the strap will be in Daniel's favor here, the buckle on the back of the hand of Emil. Everything is set up perfectly, just like in round one for Daniel. That simple left shoulder leaning forward, and then the victory parade begins. It starts with that beautiful smile and ends with an aggressive yelling right at the end. So we gonna go to the straps. Round number three, two, zero. Daniel Prokopchuk is winning this title match. One pin away from victory. Emil Amidashan is also having one elbow foul. So he needs to be very careful. The last start was very successful for a young Armenian. He did what he okay. needs to do. He, he didn't allow Daniel to escape. He was holding on his thumb, bending his wrist back, but just couldn't get the right position. Let's see how much damage that match did. More, more. Ah. Oh, it's straight now. It's straight. I hold it into your side. Okay. It's in your side. <laughs> more, more. Okay. It's okay. Okay. What is it? Okay. One. <coughs> yeah, Referee's grip. More. One foul. More. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? Yes. 
Oh. Emil doesn't mind. It, it should be like Emil's call, right? Because the buckle is on him. Like, do you want tighter? He's like, and he's not saying anything, Daniel. Daniel just took full advantage on that one. And I would, I would think if you're a top roller, you want uh, the, the strap to be a little loose so you have more movement ability in the strap. Definitely have more of an ability to change the connection, the looser the strap. Daniel still complaining a little bit to the ref that there's any help or any glimpse of hope for the Armenian. You see him fall back on the chest at him, and once again, look at the smirk, wow. the smile, the absolute confidence of this young man. Listen, <laughs> just gets met with, there's wow. the grunt I was talking about, and ladies and gentlemen, hail to the king <laughs> of lightweight pound for pound arm wrestling. He resides in the country of Moldova. His name is Daniel P Petrop kick, I think that, or somewhere close, my goodness. All I know is I can't get past the fact that he's an actual doctor and an absolute freak. And you know how much I enjoy left-handed arm wrestling. The absolute hand dominance of a meal all over the world, not even close to near enough to contain Daniel. What an absolute beast. And listen, the future is bright for the young man, not only to dominate his class, but to go on and possibly even be the first double champion here in the East versus West. And you can clearly see the arm strength is absolutely dominating. Even with the bad side of the strap, you see they're opened up still. Look at the side pressure. The lack of connection, not a problem for the Moldovian. And then to end it all, trying out of the strap even once to contain him. Finding out the straps were needed for that third victory. And ladies and gentlemen, the most impressive performance and still your champion. Your winner, your new 75 kilo East versus West left hand champion of the world, Daniel Prokopchuk. He will get his title belt from Denis Teplanko. One great left hand giving award to another great left hand. I'll have a little word with the winner. Come here, Daniel. So, I want to ask, can anyone give you a real match under 75 kilos? No, Emil is very strong. I didn't think he was so strong and effective. I thought after the first match, he couldn't do anything. Казалось, что он отдал бой. Но про 75 что сказать? Я не думаю больше выступать в 75. Хочу новый титул 85. So, first he said he didn't expect Emil to be this strong. He expected after the round number one just to be smooth sailing. But he said he had great endurance. He was fighting for everything. And it was a tough match. Also, he said this is maybe the last time at 75, or he doesn't really see anyone at 75. He wants to go up to 85 and see bigger guys and win with bigger guys. Congratulations, the new champion, Daniel Prokopchuk.